as some of you know, I drive a Lexus NX. It's a 2015. And just the other day, I received this letter from Lexus. It's not a recall, but uh, it's a, let me give you the exact wording, it's a special service campaign from Lexus. Now, in Australia, they did have a recall on the exact same uh, issue, but here in the States, it's not mandatory that you bring it in. However, Lexus is highly recommending that, that we do. And it has to do with the brake hold system. And what that entails is basically when, you know when you're at a, a, say a traffic light and you're stopped, your car's in drive, but your foot is on the brake and you're waiting for the light to turn green. And if you let up on the brake pedal, your car will creep forward just a bit. It'll keep, you know, it'll idle forward and it'll keep going slowly until you hit the brake again or, or whatever. What a feature that Lexus and many other car manufacturers have is the ability to override that and to push a button or flip a switch or whatever. In the, in, in the NX, you, you push a, the uh, brake hold button, and I'll, I'll demonstrate that in a little while. You press the, the hold button, and while you're at a traffic light stopped, if you let up on the brake pedal, the car won't go anywhere. It, it'll just, it'll stay. It won't, it won't creep forward. And you know, that's handy for times when, uh, say you are at a traffic light and you need to, I don't know, reach across the seat to get something or reach over in the back seat and you're, you're, you know, your foot has to come off the brake. Uh, although you should be concentrating on you know, driving and what's in front of you as opposed to grabbing things in your car. It's still a good feature to have. If you unbuckle your seatbelt while the brake hold system is on, the, the car will engage the parking brake and then disengage the brake hold. It's a safety feature because, I mean, they don't want you getting out of the car or whatever and relying on the brake hold to keep your car there. Uh, so in some instances, and this is the, the issue at hand here, in some instances, the parking brake will not engage when you unbuckle your belt. In some cases, and this is the issue at hand, is that in some situations or in some vehicles, the parking brake will not engage while the brake hold is on and you unbuckle your seatbelt. Okay, so to demonstrate the brake hold feature of the Lexus NX, let me uh, first show you the button. The button, if, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more here. It's the hold button right here. So right now it's not engaged and we can see that on the dashboard there are, there's no lights indicating that it is engaged. So now that I, uh, let me push it. Okay, so it's engaged and now on the dash you see the hold light on. So it's, 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 in, it's on but it's not engaged. To, to actually see it in action you, you drive around and then once you come to a stop, so I'm emulating stop the traffic light. If you notice now the red hold light, the red, the red light, actually it's more of an orange light, amber light, uh, lights up right below the hold engage button. So now if I let go, I wonder if I can get this here. If I let go of the, of the brake pedal, like that, I am not moving. So the car is not moving at all. And to take off, I can just press the gas and we're off. And the, the orange amber light is turned off and we're driving normally. Now I'm hitting the brakes again slowly, coming to a stop and notice the hold light came on again. Let's pretend that I'm at a traffic light, I am stopped, 
the hold light is on, the whole brake hold mechanism is engaged. It's in drive. Now, and then if you notice the parking brake, it's not engaged. This, this light right here would, this light right here would light up. So it's not engaged. Now I'm going to unbuckle my seatbelt. Okay, seatbelt is unbuckled. Now what happened is that the brake light indicator, the brake hold indicator turned off. And if you notice, my parking brake did not come on. So this is the issue at hand. So I'm gonna take my vehicle in and have them uh, put the latest software updates on it to correct the situation. So the bad thing is if I were to keep my seatbelt off and I take my foot off the brakes in order to reach something say in the back seat or whatnot, the car could creep forward and I could run into something. So if you're driving a 2015, 2016, or 2017 Lexus, I believe this pertains to all of the types of NXs, such as the F-Sport, the Hybrid, and the, uh, the base model. You definitely need to go in and have this uh, issue fixed. Lexus is fixing it for free, and I believe it's just a simple software update that doesn't take long at all. So get that done and we'll see you in the next video. Drive safe. Okay, report. Check, check, check. So there you have it.